Hi, my name's Heather Sweet. Um, a friend mentioned to me that he didn't think people could clearly see all the detail on my sculpture just via a picture, so I'm making a little very wobbly video just to point out the extra details on this sculpture. Um, I know a lot of artists do sketches before they begin sculptures. I don't normally. I find it more exciting just to start creating um, the images that are in my head just straight away without sketching or preparing. Although saying that, because this sculpture is in a sort of a kneeling, crouching position, um, I wanted to do some sketches first just to make sure that it looked right before I began. Um, now, I don't pretend to be good at sculpt sketching because I'm not. So, this is just the few scribbles that I started off with while I was sort of just running ideas through my head about the position. And this is what I ended up with. She's made from ADC clay, which is basically paper pulp mixed with earthenware clay. Uh, so it, it dries in the air, you don't need a kiln particularly. Um, I coated her with a textured paint, which gives her a slightly stone look on the surface. I didn't want her to be completely smooth. She's got a copper bra, she's got a glove leather sort of loin cloth. It's very, very fine leather, it's lovely. And the hair I got out of a skip. So it's recycled shavings from an industrial unit. I just thought they were too good not to use. They make lovely dreadlocks. I always buy glass or acrylic doll's eyes for the eyes. I don't pretend to be amazing at painting, so I don't even try and paint eyes myself. I love them to look realistic, which is why I buy these from either London or China. I think they're beautiful. Right, so she has copper or brass fingernails and toenails. I've used recycled watch parts on a lot of the joints. This is the inside of her knee. We've got cogs and wheels. She's also got some watch parts on her elbow joints. She has copper sheet around her ankles. And I've used some recycled watch parts on her back. I especially like the brass cogs and wheels because they're quite old. I think they've been in a damp shed and they've gone a lovely colour. I think they look much more interesting than if they were brand new and perfect looking. She's got a clock winder in the back of her neck and she's got some recycled clock parts on the side of her head. She's quite a big girl. I think she's about 27 inches tall. Perhaps you can get a slight idea of perspective with my hand. Yeah, she's about 27 inches tall. And I've called her Steampunk Gina. <clears throat> because I've got a rather beautiful niece called Gina who's got the most fabulous dreadlocks. I hope you like her. I intend to video some more of my sculptures soon. And I hope that you'll pay a visit to my Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com slash heathersweetmoon.com.
artist. And my website is www.wackyweddingsculptures.co.uk. Okay, bye.